Hello there, I am Giant Quote with my Pokemon Ruby video. In the last part, we took on route, uh, routes 111 and 113. Uh, we also went through this, yeah, I think route 113, we used an ash route where we could cause a, a volcanic ash to trade in for, uh, for, um, some flutes after we got the suit sack from this guy in the cabin, who has a cabin out there. We also caught a Skarmory. Uh, I don't have it with me right now because I just realized that when you reach for a town and go to the Pokemon Center, there's actually the PC, uh, um, uh, operator or PC creator, I should say, that creates the PC for, um, when it says, like, someone's PC, Waynette's actually in there. Her name is Lynette. And, uh, yeah, I, I just want to show off that I got, uh, I got, a, I got a yellow fruit which heals confusion, a blue fruit that heals sleep, and then a red fruit that heals infatuation. So yeah. Let's go inside the Pokemon Center and talk to Lynette, because she's using the PC right now. <laughs> okay. You, oh, hello, you are? Okay, your name is Steven. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means you use the Pokemon storage system I developed. Um, how I arrived at that conclusion is a simple de de deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to do something on this PC. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Lynette. Honestly, I get, I'm glad to meet you. It's great using the piece, the switch system. If you could, please visit me at my, at home. Um, my house is on Route 114. And then she just goes off to her house, I guess, so, yeah. Let's actually, um, Put um, some items in, the, in my item storage. I think the max ether and the ether is what I want to do. Or store, I mean. What I want to store. Okay, there we go. Nice. We're going to sell that nugget in a second, but we want to... Actually, I don't want to withdraw anything, but I want to withdraw a Pokemon, of course. So I'll move Pokemon. And if, once you officially go to her house, I think it'll change it to when it's PC instead of someone's PC. So let's see. Move Pokemon. Got Skarmory here. Nice. Okay, well, let's switch it with uh, one, I guess. One doesn't have an item, so that's good. No, these have an item, so that's good. Because I would have missed it then, and I would have just grabbed the item then. From them, you know, because I had ability pickup. So. Screamo, I like it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, let's switch with Metroid. And then with, uh, Fighter. And then with Geico. And then with, uh, Smokey. Okay. So let's see, um, Screamo's, uh, um, summary. So its ability is sturdy, so it negates one hit KOs, like, um, I guess, maybe this is an exception if you, like, use a move that automatically, um, faints, like, a move that, like, Sheer Cold or Fizzer, Fissure, or, um, something like that, Horn Drill, but, uh, if it's, like, if it's a super effective move and it tries to hit, try to defend it in one hit, uh, because it's really super effective and they just seem to have, they can, like, one-shot it, it'll leave, um, Screamo with just 1 HP, which is pretty cool, it's like careful in nature. Um, its attack is 32, its defense is 51, its special attack is 19, its special defense is 35, its speed is 30. And it knows Pex, and attack, swift, and agility. And then uh, most of the other four moves that Screamo has is cool for contests. Yeah, same attack is the one that's cute. <laughs> cool. So there's one more permanent party member that I want to get, but it's going to be a little bit till we actually get to where I can catch my final permanent team member. I want to sell the nugget real quick, so I'm going to do that real quick. I bought a lot of super pearls for the, um, for the, trying to get the f enough ashes for the food, so that's why I have, like, that's why I have, like, less money than, than the last part, I guess you could say. Let's sell the nugget there for 5,000 poker dollars, that's your house to make up the money. We have seven more candies right now, so that's awesome. Uh, do I want to buy anything else here? Repel off, okay. That's the last repel I used to uh, get Ash, I guess, from Route 113, uh, I believe. Yeah, so uh, let's just buy a couple more Great Pulses. Let's buy like two. Super Potions will buy like four, I guess. Just have four. Um, Antidotes will buy two, I guess. Pearl Seals will buy two. Escape up soon when we need super pearls. Let's buy like five more, I guess. And we should be good, yeah. Because I don't use X items or guide specs or die hurts or anything like that. Okay, just checking if we had a item, I guess. And then we want to go to our bag. Let's see our bag. It's at the very bottom, okay. We have 27 super potions, that's awesome. Eight full of stores, that's pretty cool. 10 full heals, 10, 12 potions. Pretty good on items, honestly, except we need more awakenings. But then again, we don't need awakenings anymore because we have the blue fruit. 
That's good. So yeah. I haven't used my any of my soda pop shit that I got from the Cecil warehouse. Uh, uh, let's enter a contest. I said that I would do one when we get to Farbro Town, so let's just get it over with. I forgot to read the sign. Shoot, let me read the sign. Okay. Uh, Pokemon contest. Super rank registration. Burst onto the Pokemon scene. Now, I think to enter a contest, you need a Pokebox case, which I showed how to get. But it's, uh, you talk to this little girl in the Swayport City, uh, Pokemon contest hall. So let's talk to this uh, director, I guess, this manager, I guess. Hello there. We're accepting rankings of the super rank Pokemon. Ah oh, man. Contest pass. You may obtain a contest pass in a normal contest hall. Inverted time for you to Well. I forgot to pick that up. The contest pass. Yeah. I'll have to do this at a later time, probably, because I don't really feel like going all the way back to Red and Turf Town now. But I probably will pass. Uh, either pass it or just go out of my way and later and try to go back to get it. So the contest will actually have to hold. I want to show off the contest though on this project, so I'll remember to do that. Um, let's see, um, move to this house. New t moves taught to Pokemon. I think if I heart skill, the move to will teach you, teach your Pokemon moves. So yeah, I'm gonna move to it. I know all the Pokemon that one move, even them, even one, every one of them. I can teach moves, teach Pokemon these moves. I can teach a move to a Pokemon of yours if you like. I'll do it for heart skill. I'm collecting those now. If your Pokemon need a move, come back with a heart skill. Okay. So I think an easy way to get heart skills is probably not till the end of the game, honestly. It's this Pokemon called Love Disc, and they have they should, like I think have a really good chance of holding a heart skill. Uh, just on them, and so you use the move Thief that we got from uh, that Team Magma grunt back in Sleep with see at the Ocean Mix Oceanic Museum. Uh, let's see if we can find that team. It's uh, TM46 Thief. It'll steal a, a force held item, so it'll steal the heart skill if you use it on a love disc. And you can take the heart skill. That's like the best way I know how to probably get heart skills in this game. Unless there's another way. Because I remember in Diamond Pearl and Platinum, you could just go down in the underground, use your Explorer Kit, and just find heart skills, you know, in the underground. And dig them, dig them up, you know, mine for them. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Sky moves up front. Cool. Uh, we want to go in this house next. I think it's a, it's a. Oh yeah, let's talk to you. My big brother is the fossil maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes too. He dug this hole by himself. You can have this, so you can dig holes just like my brother, my big brother. TM20, which is a dig. We're actually gonna have to hold down that TM and teach it to someone. Just de designate that move to some Pokemon, you know? Cause it'll actually be, um, helpful. Uh, you know, I think that that's needed for like, unlocking like, the Reggies or something. If, I, if my memory serves me correct. The Reggie is like the legendary Pokemon, the Reg Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. So yeah, let's talk to this guy. I'm a fossil maniac. I'm a, I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belong to me. None for you. If you go without, if if you can't go without a fossil, go to the desert in Route 111. 111. But from what I heard, the fossils were buried in the sands. Sometimes rise to the surface from sandstorms. We'll have to get that later because we can't even access that area yet. Because the sandstorms are too harsh or something, you know? It's impossible to go further without this item we get from May later on. After the fourth gym badge. Why do I keep on going back to my bag? I was like, what the heck? Jeez, okay. This guy will give you the TMO5 roar. So yeah, Sai, please uh, take this TM away. Oh man, he's just giving away the TM, that's okay. But I won't teach this to my Pokemon because I don't really recommend a roar. It's a good move if you just want to not battle Pokemon and can just, just scare them away, I guess. Let's talk to this fisherman and battle him. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone charges me, I'm there even if, it, if, it, if I'm fishing. Okay. Here is a fisherman, fisherman Nolan. Is that Nolan Arenado of the Colorado Rockies? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, let's go for the sand attack. Not sand attack, but I'm just gonna arrange my moves real quick. Let's go for the swift. Water gun, okay. Interesting. Uh, scream as fast as the bar boat, haha sucker. Okay, you're gonna lower the power of fire type moves. Too bad I'm not using any fire type moves on this bar boach. Could have quite awesome. There we go, nice. Defeat a fisherman no land. Uh, I like to battle, but it do that doesn't mean I'm not good at it. Okay, that's fair enough. Thanks for the 80 thanks for the eight hundred eight poke dollars, man. 
If you if we were fishing, you wouldn't stand a chance against me. So bring on your Pokemon. Okay, we'll see about that. I'll beat you in a battle just to make sure. Uh, I bet I could beat you at fishing if I tried hard enough. Uh, Clouds and uh, is his name Claude or something like that. Let's start with a C, I think. Yeah, okay, send out gold Dean, Nice. Supersonic. Good thing I have yellow fruit now. Ha ha ha. So jokes on you. Nice. One attack won't do that much because Screamo is half steel type. Didn't mean to go back to my bag. Shoot. Okay. There we go. Nice swift attack. One attack again. Okay, cool. Good for you. Uh, nice another swift that should do it. Yes, cool. Okay, yeah. Uh, another Goldeen, huh? Okay. He has four Pokemon. Half of them are Goldeen, which isn't bad. I mean, it's easy for Scrimma to defeat, really, so that's good. There we go, nice. Supersonic, okay. I'm just gonna use my Yellow Fruit then. Which I think for all the fruits, I, um,. Got. I think it took around like 400 s steps to get 400 ashes into the suit sack. I'm pretty sure because I remember the the blue fruit was like 100, so that's like the least amount of st uh, steps or ashes you need to get. But um, I think the yellow fruit was also like 200, and then well, the the yellow fruit may have been I I don't know exact measurements, but I'm uh, exact numbers really to be honest. But like I know it took a lot of steps. I had to go through the whole like area and like get all the ashes I could without. Like collecting all the ashes in one, uh, in one, in the whole area, the whole route. I did that at least maybe two or three times. So that's, that adds up to a lot of, you know, ashes you need to get. Let's use the effort on Screamo. Nice. Use Water Sport, okay. Fine with me. I don't plan on using any fire type moves on this Goldeen. So, uh, sorry, bro. <laughs> and it takes it out awesome. Scream was in level 17, awesome. Bye, Butch, okay. We'll stay in. Okay, let's go for the Swift again. Swift is like our go-to move right now. <laughs> Who could have quit? Nice. Let's support, okay. We'll, we'll lower the power of Watch type moves, but I won't plan on using Watch type move on a bar boat that's water and ground by, in, by anyway because you know it's half ground so it does so Watch type moves don't even affect it, you know. Another okay, so he has three, so he has three Goldeans and a bar boat. Cool, that's good to know. Yeah, cool. Uh, that goes with that supersonic again. Does he not notice that I'm using the yellow food every time that happens to cure it? <laughs> He's better off trying to attack my Screamo Skarmory. Haha. <laughs> Tail Whip gets def uh, Screamo's defense fell. I didn't make it back to my bag. Hey, when I do that, <laughs> let's go for another Swift. I'm thinking I'm, I, I keep on using. I haven't even used Peck yet. I've only been using Swift. Yeah, okay, fine. You're gonna confuse Screamo again. Fine. We're gonna use the Yellow Freak again then. I think the fruits, at least getting the blue, yellow, and red fruit, that's gonna make your journey a lot easier. Cause in the, you, you work hard to get those ashes anyway, so it's very worth it, and then you earned it, you know? After, um, getting all those ashes, you know? So I think it's a good item to, three, three good items to pick up to make sure you always have at this point, you know? So yeah, we took up the Goldeen, so that's awesome. If we were fishing, I would've won. Well, I don't know, maybe I could've got lucky. Thanks for 64. 40 poke dollars though. Here is a picnicker. I need to exercise after every meal. Let's have a match. Okay. But but as Ash Ketchum said in the first Pokemon movie, uh, you know, Pokemon battling doesn't work. So, you're just standing there giving commands. You're not like physically moving your body or anything or stretching or anything like that. But whatever. I have five more, uh, Screamer has five more Swifts after this. Cool. Let's use Water Gun. Okay. She's not swift then. After after Screamer runs out of um, uh, Swifts, I'll switch to Peck. But for right now, I'm just gonna use Swift, really. 
Also, I should teach her steel wing, cause you know Screamer doesn't know steel wing way, and I wanted to. I was planning on using that TM TM forty seven steel wing on a uh, Screamo anyway, so I'll have to teach Screamo steel wing after this battle actually, cause I remember I have it from since Duford at the Granite Cave when Steven Stone gave me it for delivering the letter to him. He 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 he. Cool. Okay. So I'm still level eighteen. Alambre. Okay. I think I pronounced it Alambre. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I probably am not. But, uh, that's okay. Yeah. Let's get his absorb, okay. Yeah, don't wait, one hit point, okay. Cool. Let's get another pack on this thing. There we go, awesome. The Wombra goes down, nice. And now Scream is level 18, cool. Defeat Picnicker Nancy, nice. Oh no, I'm sorry, thanks for the 304 Poké Dollars, though. So let's see here. Let's teach Steelwing to not Shockwave, but Steelwing to uh Skarmory. Steelwing, yes, okay. Only start Karma can learn. Okay, cool. Still got Screamer wants to learn uh the move Steelwing. However, Screamer already knows four moves. Should we move to be deleted and replace with Steelwing? Yes. Which should be forgotten. Let's get rid of um let's get rid of sand attack. I don't really need sand attack. Our screamer doesn't need to learn, need to sand attack away anymore, even though we didn't ever use it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but yes, yeah, Screamer uh, forgot Synth Attack and Screamer Learn Stealing. Nice. Okay. If you go behind this house, which it doesn't look like you can, but then again, there's this path right here, so why not? You can get some Persian Barriers. Yeah, Persian, yeah. Which I forgot what they do, but I'll look up the description after I'm done picking all of them, you know? Yeah, nice. Okay, so we have six person berries, maybe even more if we have already had some in our bag, but I don't think we did. So, uh, let's go with, uh, let's see here. Let's see, what's the, what's the, yeah. Okay, we had, must have had one person berry already in our bag, because we have seven now, and one plus six is seven. So yeah, hold on, I'm that heals confusion battle. Okay, that's good to know, but I already have a yellow fruit, so. Maybe if I can use it as like a held item, you know, that'd be good. Yeah, okay, so no, no way I didn't pick up anything new. Okay, so Scream was still level 10. Okay, we got this. Okay, we have to actually go through this tall grass. Cool, I didn't even know what Pokemon. Awesome. This is Wayne Nets' house? Yeah, Wayne Nets' house. Cool. So let's go inside. Okay. Oh, Steven, I'm sorry everything is so cluttered. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this a secret in exchange for this. We got this dot doll, which is another doll we can put on our secret base. Nice. Okay. So let's take on this double battle. Uh, Torkoal and Skarmu working together for the first time. Awesome. And a double battle. Well, sure, I'm in the mood for it. I'll teach you a little about Pokemon. I know a lot about Pokemon. Thank you very much. Oh, is Pokemon, is Pokemaniac Steve gonna come up, coming up soon? Cause I think he is. Unless he's only exclusive to, um, unless he's only exclusive to Emerald, but I think he's also in Ruby and Sapphire. I could be wrong. So, uh, let's go for the Stealing on Graveler and the Body, no, the Ember on, uh, Rosalia. Cause Stealing's gonna be super effective against Graveler. Did about half. Cool. Awesome. Mega Drain on Screamo. Okay. Nice. Defense girl on Gravel, okay. Or def Gravel used defense girl, I should say. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so if we can, if Stealing can hit the Gravel and Ember can hit the Rosalia again, we should have this battle in the bag. And it hits Gravel, awesome, nice. Oh, it doesn't faint it though, shoot. Oh, because Gravel used defense girl to raise defense, that makes sense. That rhymed, huh? Defense and makes sense. Defense and sense basically rhyme there. Rock throw is super effective and smoky. Shoot. Okay, we got the gravel to deal with now. But the Rosalia is down. Let's go for, um, Swift, I guess, and, uh, Body Slam. Why not? There we go. There we go. Nice. We got this. We got it. We beat him. We defeated Senior and Junior Tyra and Ivy. Cool. What an amazing battle style. Thanks, Tyra. Uh, thanks for the 672 Poké Dollars, too. You guys are pretty nice. 
You're very kind. So, did I pick up my item? Nope, of course not. Okay, let's, put, let's keep screaming up to the front. We got another, we got this camper guy to deal with. Uh, camping is fun. You can fish, roast marshmallows, and tell spooky, spooky stories. But also the best, but the best of all, all the Pok are the Pokemon battles. That's pretty cool. Let's battle. Let's have a fun Pokemon battle. I'm up for that. So this is Camper Shane. Shane Dawson? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's go for... The Swift, I guess. Oh, I Swift it doesn't have any PP left. Okay. Let's go for the stealing and then. I don't know how much this will do, but I'm just curious. Okay. So it's about maybe one third. Okay, it's gonna raise its defense with defense curl. Send attack, okay. Oh, yes. Okay, I think Skarmory's other ability could be um, Keen Eye, which prevents accuracy loss. But I kind of like sturdy just in case like Screamo tries to get one shot by a Pokemon. Yeah. But yeah, that's just me. I mean, I would prefer either really that I prefer either ability really evenly, actually 50 50 honestly, because they're still both really good abilities. One prevents stat loss, and then one prevents or one prevents being knocked out with one hit of a move of a super effective move or whatnot that would faint usually. That makes, you know, Skarmory faint usually. Screaming good level 19, awesome. Skin Pichain is about to shoot another Nuzleaf. Okay, we'll stay in. So Nuzleaf is a ghost. <laughs> I almost said ghost. Um, I did say ghost that time. Okay, Nuzleaf is a dark and grass type Pokemon. So let's just pack on this thing. That'll be super effective. Sc Screamo missed. Because I guess the the sand attack earlier lowered uh, Screamo's accuracy, which kind of stinks. But the peck hits this time. It does a little bit over half, so that's awesome. It's gonna use nature power, it turns into swift, but it's not gonna be very effective because uh, Screamer is pure steel type, or pure, no, half steel type, half flying type. Yeah, there goes the Pekka again. It hits and the Nuzleaf, and the Nuzleaf goes down. Nice. So, yeah, halfway to um, level 20 is Screamer basically. We defeat Camper Shane. Way too strong. Sorry, man. Thanks for the 304 Poké Dollars, though. Here's Pokemaniac Steve. I think there's an item in that rock. I wanna check that after the battle. Ooh, wait, want to battle against my Pokemon? Sure. Let's battle, man. Let's have a fun battle. This is Pokemaniac. Pokemaniac Steve. Yep, he has an Aaron. Cool. Aaron. <laughs> uh, I don't have, Scream Screamer doesn't have any super effective moves on Aaron, so I'm going to switch out to... I'll switch out to uh, Fighter, actually. Fighter can take this thing out. Now, I didn't pay attention if... Uh, when I switched Pokemon there, saw the list. I didn't pay attention if uh, Larry got any, picked up another item or whatnot. Let's go for the fake out, even though it's not going to do much, but every little bit counts. Even the arm thrust will probably faint it. It flinched. Okay, did like one hit point there. Let's use arm thrust. Yeah, big difference. Critical, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, the Aaron goes down. Nice. Player defeated. Oh, we defeated. Pokemaniac Steve, awesome. My, my Pokemon, thanks for the $1,200, man. I'm sorry about your Pokemon, though. You're a great character and a great um Pokemon trainer. Dang it! That was a Swabu. I kind of don't want to... Well, here's a Carbos. I kind of don't want to use a Repel on this little patch of grass here. So I'm going to try to avoid that and just run into a lot of counters, I guess, instead. So Carbos, what does that restore? Um, it, uh, Not restore, but raise. It raises speed, okay. Let's use it on... She was on Smokey because Smokey's not the fastest Pokemon on my team. I think that's the worst out of my permanent team members. Yeah, cool. So let's try to walk through here. Aw, oh, dang it. That Pokemon was a C die. If I didn't already mention the first one encounter before I got the Carbos or after, slightly after maybe, was a Swabu. I think I already mentioned it was a Swabu for the first encounter though. Okay, so here's a rock. You can smash this rock. That's pretty cool. Okay, no gear did okay. Here's an item. It is a protein. I think I missed an item over there, so let me go back and get it. It's just okay, if I I'll just put a repel on it, make it it'd be easier if I just did that. A protein, okay, cool. I think we had just picked this up actually. <laughs> we have the attack of one Pokemon. Let's use it on uh let's use it on Screamo. Yeah. And let's use a repel actually. I got seven more regular repels. So yeah. Hopefully Screamer can repel all of them, all the Pokemon in here. Hopefully it can. I think so. 
I think it's a hidden item right here. It's a revive, very worth picking up, so I'm gonna... That's why I came back here and get it. I know it's a decent item. Okay, so let's just mosey on over here. Yeah, there we go. We already got the item over here, right? I think we did. Perfect worth, okay. There's another instant in the wall for a secret base. There's like so many places you can build a secret base in this game, which is pretty cool because there's a lot of priority. Uh, did Oi pick up an item? Nope, he didn't. Okay, cool. Not cool, I mean, because he didn't pick it up by nine, man. Also, another, you can use Rock Smash to get to that instant in the wall. Now, all the insides of the um, secret bases look different, so it's like, kind of, you want to pick the one that you think would fit the most stuff, or looks the coolest in size, in terms of shape. There's a lot of options in this uh, whole Hone region, basically, for secret bases. So, if you're lighting, I, I can't remember, the, like, my best opinion, or my best, like, recommendation for a spot to use, to build your secret base. I think you can only build one secret base, though. If you try to, if you want to move it, I guess you can, or you have to move all your stuff or something. But only one secret base in one area, which kind of stinks, because you could have, like, a bunch of secret bases everywhere. But they don't want you to do that, I'm pretty sure. It's last, last time I checked. So, yeah. If you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. That's good to know, because if the fire gets started like in grass or something, or in a field, you can easily put out the fire with some water if it doesn't get too big too fast. So this is Kendall with Bernie. Bernie shots from uh, Disney Channel's Bizarre Vark. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it just says, they just have the same first name. That uh, Bernie shots is played by uh, Ethan Walker, by the way. If you guys didn't know that. <laughs> uh, no, Swift has no PP. Okay, whatever. Okay, fine. Let's just peck on this thing. Hopefully, it's super effective, but it's a half rock. So, I'm not half rock till, um, till it evolves into my cargo, apparently. So, that's good. We got. So, that means peck is usually just doing a, a decent amount of damage with one third of that being damage. Yeah. It's gonna be neutral effective, but then, uh, I've got the rock throw because, uh, Screamo is half flying, so it's super thing's flying part, but since it's also steel type, it, like, makes it neutral effective. Uh, by only taking normal damage, and uh, yeah, Screamo fell asleep after two turn after a turn after I used um after the Sogma used Yawn on it. So yeah, let's put let's wake it up with the blue fruit. Use Yawn again. Okay, we gotta knock this thing out fast. I think if we we call it though and come, put it back in battle, it'll still fall asleep though. But let's peck it and get rid of it and faint it. I mean, I guess get rid of it in the same way too. Scream was in level 20, awesome. Can't do it, send out Wingle. I wanna stay, I want Scream to stay in. Even though Scream is probably gonna fall asleep again. Yep, there we go. Right on cue. Right on cue. Let's use another blue flute. Where he still hasn't picked up a new item yet. It's been a while since I picked up an item with a, with a pickup, its ability. Okay, now, it's, now Scream was confused, so let's use yellow flute. Nice, okay. Water gun, okay. Very, um, cool. I guess it only did 6 HP though. Let's use peck attack on this thing. Yeah, okay, did a little bit of half wing attack. It's not gonna be very effective. Only did 2 HP, cool. Good for us. Peck again, nice. We free Kindle with Bernie. Okay, thanks for dousing my fire. Sorry, man. Thanks for the 680 Poké Dollars though. You're a really troop room, you know? Okay, so this is a hiker. I'm gonna actually use a super potion on a uh, on a uh, screamo. There we go, nice. So I think I can use screamo can only, can use stealing on these rock types if there's gonna be rock types that are gonna come from the cycle, which probably high chance they are gonna be rock types like geodudes or something. Okay, so if you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. Okay, I think this will be the last battle of the video too, by the way. So yeah. Hiker Lucas wins the battle case. Cool, uh, he has a Geodo, nice. Okay, let's go for the stealing because it'd be super effective. This Geodo is level 18. Yeah, okay, it almost one hit killed it, okay. Magnitude, magnitude 4, but it doesn't affect Screamo because Screamo is half flying type. Nice, let's go for another stealing. There we go, the Geodo goes down, a critical hit, awesome. Is about Hiker Lucas about to send out another G dude. Okay, we're gonna use another Steel Wing. This one's also level 18 male, just like the one before it. So yeah, nice. Steel Wing hits and it went 1 AK, awesome. Nice, I like it. I know, he has three G dudes, probably all level 30, uh, not 38, but uh, 18 I mean. Steel Wing again, it's, they're all male too, by the way. That's kinda cool. But that was an easy battle. Easy battle. 
but I defeated Haiku Lucas. We defeated Haiku Lucas. Okay, the mountains are unforgiving. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for $720 20 poker dollars, though. Okay, so... I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been another my Pokemon Ruby video walk the apart. The next part will take on more of this mountain area and make it to uh, Meteor Falls because it's coming up soon. And then uh, we'll meet... Well, I won't spoil it, but uh, we'll meet some people there and it'll be pretty interesting. So yeah, so this has been Draco again. I would like to have a good goodbye and hope to see you guys next part of my Pokemon Ruby video walkthrough guide.